Alright. Welcome back to another episode of Pro to Me Plays Mario Maker 2. I'm Kieran, or Pro to Me, or. Uh, that's really. Uh, those are kind of the names. I'm going to play Mario Maker 2. We're going through more of the levels in the waypoint form. Thread link is in the description below. All the course IDs are below. Possibly timestamps if I could be bothered because I've done it for some and not for others. I keep meaning to go back. It's not a lot of my works work, but I'm lazy, so hey. Let's try this first one, which is from Assets. Akits, I don't know. Mountaineering. They said that this has a simple shell jump. It says in the description here, actually, at the end of it. Which I am bad at those. I can't do those. So this might be a level that uh, we get to that point, try it a few times and give up. But that's fine. Not every level has to be for me. I like this mountain to start this though. That's pretty cool. No. No. Take like this. Yeah. Give me these coins, and I died. That's a really precise jump. You need a tough level, buddy. Let's try and do this. Ugh. Maybe I'll even get as far as the shell jump. He jumped like literally like a pixel layer as I'm doing. Never gonna get past this first jump. It's definitely possible. It's not happened yet. Oh my god. Let's do this. I was hoping to get through a bunch of levels in this video. But maybe not. I don't know if I could do much later than that. What am I doing wrong? There we go. I was literally starting to do the fall animation. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No! No one else has died there. To be fair, I don't think this has had a lot of plays. I think when your clear rate gets pretty low, I think like the, the super expert is one of the least played of the difficulty tiers. That was silly. Um... But then also it's possible that just a lot of people didn't get past this first area because it's hard. It's a hard jump. But, hey, that's fine. I'm going to be like, good at Mario by the end of this. I wouldn't bet money on that. Because I still can't do this jump. Oh my god. Can't play my controller. I'm still using the Super Nintendo Mini. Because it's a good controller. Who would have guessed Super Nintendo controllers are good for playing Mario games? That felt like I was dropping or jumping as late as I could. Okay, that's literally you have to jump when it like a, a a second later than you think you should. I'm gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna die here. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Please let me get a checkpoint. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Great. Oh, at least I got the checkpoint. Uh, I like the theme of this level though. 
Although I feel like these, like, mountain blocks should be edge to edge. As is, it looks like a kind of indoor mountain. <laughs> it's like the coolest climbing range. Uh, what do you call them? You know, the climbing walls that people do, the door ones. Oh my god, I'm gonna die here. No, no, no. What can I get up here? Oh my god, do I need to. No, I don't. Okay. I thought I needed to actually get that first try. level is tough. Good though. Nah. Uh. Thanks? Oh, it resets the Koopa. <laughs> oh no! Oh, is this the bit I need the Koopa for? Is this the shell jump he was talking about? Try one more time. Hang in here. Okay, it's not this bad. Unless I need the shell jump up here. Wee. Oh, you don't need the shell jump. Hey, you're wrong, buddy. <laughs> uh, I assume that you're meant to shell jump at that bit and not fit into that gap. But I fell into that gap, so... So much for needing a shell jump at the end, eh? Good level, though. I really like that. And I got the world record that I'll definitely hold for a long time and won't lose within 20 minutes. That level's not that hard. I'm surprised the completion rate's so low. It's... Like, it's hard, but it's not undoably hard. I would expect the clear rate to be in like at least, you know, five, six percent. Not what was it? It was like one, wasn't it? It has two clears. Two percent. That's not I mean closer I guess. Anyway. I really like that level. Good job. Next level is from Luch. Or Luke Schaefer on the forum. Um, they actually commented on the last video of the levels of theirs I played to tell me that you pronounce her name. I wanted to say they said Luch. I really shouldn't have brought this up because I don't remember and I didn't, you know, memorize it. So I don't have it open. <laughs> anyway, the idea of this level is the there's an on-off switch. Red gives more difficult enemies and blue gives more difficult uh, platforming, which is a cool idea. I'm gonna go with platforming because I think I'm better at memorizing and getting muscle memory down for platforming. This is a cool idea. I like this. <laughs> yes, cool idea. I do like this as a concept. Let's keep it with uh, platforming. I'm liking the platforming so far. It's not that hard. Wait, what the hell just fell back there? Gimme. Give Gimme give this. Thank you. Patience. Pays off. Oh, it's a bit trickier now. I don't think you need to do that, but I like doing that. I made, oh my god. I made a thing in one of my levels that required that. Ah, no! Was there a checkpoint in that room? There was. Right. I was just listening to the music there, because I was like, what is this music? Oh, no, no uh, feather this time. Got this platform properly. Oh, that was stupid. 
gotta be more patient. I'm still holding down the run button. And still holding my controller right next to the microphone. I'm sorry about that. This is the, you know, the quieter one. Give it a push. Right. Nope, messed that up. I need to jump on it. Keep it alive for long enough. And do that. Let's do it. This time. Getting too spicy. I think I actually do need to do that and wait for it to drop. I think the timing works otherwise. That was too early. That was just impatience. There's no one to blame for that but myself. This room doesn't look that long though. There was a door at the other end there. Oh, give it mushroom, you fool. You fool! Maybe if you're lucky you'll get a feather in the next one, it'll make platforming easier. This, you know, it worked so well last time. It would make this bit easier, for sure. There we go. Nailed it. Um, this is still the come with feather. Oh, because the fire flare would be more useful for. Oh, it's a boss fight. It's a platforming based boss fight though. That's pretty smart. You can get the coins. Oh, I bet if you select the other one. Oh no, it's just, you still be able to get coins. I was going to say, you won't be able to get the coins. I'm not doing well here. I'm struggling. Get that one. Uh, that was stupid. I don't know how you're meant to get that one there in the middle. I assume an enemy must fall if you pick the fire flower. Bowser's up there, because I can hear fire. Oh no. I don't know if you can... You can't jump on those. Need a Yoshi. I don't know how to get that middle one. I think Crouch jump at it. That's crazy. It's crazy. No one could do that. It's impossible. It's never been done before. Not by me, at least. Oh no! Oh, that was the worst that could have went. Alright. I'm liking this level though. Can I sneak up there? No. Okay. I would like to do another run through of this. No, oh, that was stupid. Picking the other options, which is a cool thing. The idea of, hey, I would like to do a second run through of a Mario Maker level this person made because I could do it differently. You don't see that very often. Smart. Oh, it's like literally impossible to fall down these pets if you pick the other option. Because the red would seal them off. How do I get in there? Let me in. Open the door! 
No. All right, I can cheese it. I can do this. I don't think I can do this. No. No. So close. This at its height. No, I can't do it. It's close though. Maybe not quite at its height. What do I have to get the metal one? Oh, that's waiting. Because I botched it. I refuse to give up. Oh, damn it. That was so close. Alright, cheese this one. Oh my god, I almost died because I glitched through that donut. Can't move. There we go. I did it. I'm the greatest platformer in the history of mankind. See me at uh, Games on Quick next year. I like that level a lot. That's a smart concept. Executed well. Lots of just weird shit falling from the sky. Which I didn't realize you could do. That's smart. Oh, the server's being slow today. Or my internet is. That's less likely though. Good stuff. Yeah, I really like that. That was smart. Good job, Lutch. You're continuing to make just cool levels. Anyway, on to the next one. So next up we have Wall Jump Challenge by, I don't think they told me how to pronounce the name properly. It's either Me Game or Megam or Megami, I don't know. I'm gonna go with uh, Megam. So Super Mario 3D World, the wall jumping. I'm not great at wall jumping. You may remember previous videos, I botched some really easy wall jumping. I love 3D World though. At least in this. I finished 3D World, but I remember so little about it other than that I enjoyed it. Nintendo should put that on the Switch. I'd rebuy it. Okay. Still try to break levels, Kieran. Uh. Okay. Here, there's a box there. Not do this. Oh God! Yeah, I'm gonna die. Ah! What's in the box? What's in the box? Jumps, I'm messing up. Mm. Oops. How did that kill me? Oh well. Oh my god, I'm over jumping. <sighs> so I think there's one coin in each of these doors. See the one for here is over there. Oh my god. Why am I botching this so badly? Give me the mushroom. Because I was silly and lost mine. Goodbye, buddy. Okay, that was bad. No, 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 no. Liking the level so far though. I'm just, as always, struggling. Oh my god! 
I lost the tech Goomba that time. Jesus. Jesus. Right, this time. It's only the first of three rooms. Not there. Maybe I do need to go down this way. Okay. Thank God there's an exit route here. Can I jump to that one? Can I cheat? Haha! <laughs> Broke your level. No, damn it! Alright, you're smarter than me. You got me. You got me that time. Oh, I need to redo that first one now. Oh, I thought it was being so smart. But for once, someone actually considered me breaking the level. Well, not me specifically, I presume, but... Alright. This time. Let's go up this way. Let's ignore the box, even though it might have something decent in it. You get lost. That was dumb, but it's fine. I'll live with it. I won't live with that though, I need that coin. You could cheat for that one. Let's try this one. Oh god. Oh, this music's so good. I didn't know this was in here. That was silly, I didn't hit that button. Or I didn't mean to at least. No! Wall jumping, why are you so hard? I finished Celeste, I should be okay at wall jumps. Did it. One more. Which I need to start for. So I assume I get a star. I'm gonna wait for the next one. I just feel like I messed up the timing on that. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I forgot you even needed to collect coins to get to the end of this one. That seems like an unnecessary requirement given you need to key. Uh oh. Good choice of music all around in this. Oh, I botched it. I don't understand why some of music just cuts off. Okay, close enough. I'll take it. Whew. Stressful. But good. I think that means I'm perfect to wall jumping them. No comments on this one. But there is no. Always like and comment every level that you like. I pointed and then remembered that I don't have a face camera at them. But I'm pointing at you right now. Remember and do it. It's the basic, oh god, breaking my iPad. It's the basics of being polite in Mario Maker. Also, don't play multiplayer because it's bad. Anyway, on to the next one. All right. Next up, we have RGB by FM Towns. FM Towns party on the forum. This is a lot of uh, red and blue blocks. Switching automatically, I believe. I don't know where the G comes into the RGB. Maybe it's a green Koopa that is switching. That's a cool looking wall. It's not even a green Koopa. Oh god, that was stupid. 
Um, they mentioned in their forum post of this that the whole shell automatically triggering the on and off was a more original concept when they started making it. Which is fair. It is a bit overused now. I am... making terrible jumps. Hi. It seems very forgiven though. Putting like the the vines there. Yeah, what does this do? Then you go back. So you go back. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, so. oh yeah, okay, this is all this. Oh no! I really need that fire flower. That's good too. Not as useful. I like it. That's gonna really annoy me if he does that again. No! Just cheese it. Eat the hat. Oh god! I don't think that was intentional. Where it was? Oh jeez. So I just think about that. Man. No! I feel like it was close. I feel like that was the end of the line. Based on nothing. Other than it being a boss fight against two of those big guys whose names I can't remember. Oh, and continuing, Kieran doesn't remember the names of basic Mario enemies from, I don't know, every game probably. Despite having played through every Mario game and having played through Mario World like once every year since as a child. Fun fact, first time I finished Mario World was on the Game Boy Advance. I had it in Super Nintendo, I was just, you know, young and didn't finish it. I watched my mum finish it. That's what I used to do before I could play games properly. I sat and watched my mum play games. Fond memories of watching her play Mario World and Tomb Raider. Obviously not the same console, those were years apart. I was old enough to be playing games properly by the time Tomb Raider came out, but I still watched my mom play it. Partly because I just didn't like the game that much. I found it much more enjoyable to watch. Nope. Why do I keep going out for this extra life? Extra lives are useless. I just noticed I've done it like every time. This one's actually slow enough that I'm messing up this jump. <laughs> that was stupid. And my defense is past midnight. And the tiredness affecting my. Yeah, that's not faking it, really. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I messed that up again. Ah, that's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. I didn't need to sleep tonight anyway. I'm gonna finish this level. It's a nice looking level. I can't really describe why. There's just something about it that looks good. Oh, it's too slow now. Alright. Of 
We're gonna nail it that time. You even killed that guy. It's a good run. Until I botched this jump. Nope. Oh my god. Ah! That was so precise. Okay, this time. Let's get these invisible blocks again. I can't find it. There we go. I like that. That's nice. Yeah, I don't know what it is. There's just something that level just looks nice. It's, it's good. It's a good level. Aesthetically pleasing. Alright, that is gonna mess me up when I come back. Oh no, we vanished. Great. Ah, oh, screw that, I'm just gonna use this. Oh my god, I survived. That's surprising. Luck. Clearly luck is on my side this time. Didn't even need Koopa to jump. Oh, that was sheer luck. this up. Oh, come on. You've got to be dead, right? Oh, thank God. Are they on something? Uh, did this thing go down? I think it's going to go down. I think I'm overcomplicating this by being in here. Oh, please be the end of the level. Oh, I can't get in. I would have filled each of those up with one-ups. Just because I'm a monster. That was a really good level. I really love that. <laughs> Wait, I need to see that comment. <laughs> hey. Okay. I really like that. That was a really good level. Good job, FM Tan. I look forward to seeing what other levels you make in the future. Or have already made and that I haven't played yet. On to the next one. How did someone beat it in nine seconds? I wish you could watch replays in this. I, you must be able to get over the starting bit. That's confusing. Anyway, on to the next one. Next up we have Hit the Slopes from G Marty. Limited Horizon on the forum. They say it's short and it's really just them messing about slopes. Which is fair. Let's start somewhere. My first level is super basic. So oh, I need to spin jump. Need to spin jump. I do love the addition of slopes. Okay. Didn't need to spin jump for that one. <sighs> Trial and error. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Botched it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Botched that though. That was. Pure dumbness. So was that. He's been taking that form with me. Right. This time. Oh my god. I don't know why I even did that. That was just silly. This time... Right. Up we go. Don't... Don't fall off it this time. <laughs> no! Oh, this level! <laughs> so mean! It's good, but it's... 
killing me. I'll be honest, I'm trying to get through as many levels in the forum thread as possible because I'm like 100 posts behind at this point. And also because we're nearing when I posted one of my levels. And I'm going to play it when that happens. Because I'm a narcissist. And I won't be able to beat it because I'll be like, oh no. I don't think this is the hard one. Which I played on a previous episode. <laughs> Why did I do that again? It's spin, jump, spin. Obviously. Obviously. Like, why would I even make this mistake? Let's do it. Spin. Where's this conveyor belt go? Oh, to the end. Thank God. That was good, but it was stressing me out. Could you just slopes? I didn't know you could slope conveyor belts. That's quite good. That's handy. T-Rex. Don't know that. Beat it. It was a good level. Good first try as well, so I look forward to seeing what else G Marty makes. But as first level. Very good. On to the next one. So next up, and probably last up, is Aquatic Forest by the board. I don't know why I said Aquatic's a word. Um, he said this one is inspired by Sonic level design. Like old school Sonic level design. They have made a lot of levels. I'm going to come back and play some of these. Because I don't think they posted them in the thread. Which means they are on limits for out of video play for me. By my own arbitrary rules that I have set for playing games. Anyway. The script this one is being kind of inspired by Sonic level design. So there's like multiple paths and they all kind of converge at the end. Which is cool if it works. I'm just going to try to run fast and we'll see how it goes. Eat jelly dogs. Oh god. No. Okay. That's pretty neat. That's a good way of doing that as well, making it relatively easy to, like, mess jump. Oh god, do you need these keys though? In which case, it's not really, you know... Let's do it. Oh god. Or what is going on? Stuff just seems. The issue with making things in Mario Maker that are multi level is that things just spawn and then just walk off ledges and. Yeah. I wish you could set things to not walk off ledges. Which you can for Koopas. If you make them red, they won't do it. But. Yeah. I wish you could just set everything. But then you get dangerously close to being like, hey, what if you could just edit the eye of enemies and... Oh my god, I'm missing this really basic jump. Which I would want. But that's only because I'm a programmer and studied game development. And so I literally did that for a living briefly. Before deciding that game development kind of bores me. Like, I like... I like doing it. I don't like doing it as a career. So I went into mobile development. Anyway, there's my life story. Oh my god. And all my game development is in my spare time, mostly in the Pico 8, which is fun. Oh, you don't need these coins. Is there a door? I mean, it must open something secret. Must be a secret door hidden somewhere. Oh, that was stupid. I'm gonna die. I haven't seen a locked door. Or if I did, I instantly forgot about it. Interesting. So another coin must be down here, right? I did all the above ground stuff. Let's 
Let's see. Yes, I'm completely backtracking to find nothing, basically. But I'm interested. I'm liking the level. It's big. It's got lots of exploration. Which you don't see in a lot of Mario levels. In general, never mind Mario Maker. 2D Mario is not really about exploration. Oh, where's this girl? Is the door in here? Ah, that's cool. He's an underwater. It's a smart choice for that. You don't see a lot of underwater stuff. Because everyone hates underwater levels. I don't mind them. I think they get a lot of undo hate. Oh, there's another checkpoint in here. Also, the, the key coins don't come down here. Oh my god. Also, also, I'm running low on time. Right. Let's just end this. Let's just get to the end. No, no, no. Hit the button! You go faster if you have a shell. Pro swimming tip. Real life as well. I don't know if that's true. I mean, in the game, it's definitely not true in real life. That'd be silly. Okay, I'm not going to... Oh, I'm going to fully explore this because I forgot I had the checkpoint. Okay, I was about to say I'm just going to go to the end and let people explore this themselves, but... Nope, stupid me. Hit the checkpoint, so... I'm doing it. We're doing it. Five star run times. We'll do it live. Only not, because this isn't a stream. Maybe someday it will be, but probably not. Okay, hit the level. I like that. I'd like to find where that hidden door is, because I assume it must lead somewhere. I mean, it can't lead anywhere super important, but, you know. Maybe the one downside of Mario Maker is you can't really make important secrets, because nothing carries over. Unless it shows up in your, like, endless run, in which case, yeah, it does, because extra lives carry over and work. Okay, so I think this video's gonna be a little bit shorter than the previous ones, but this is gonna be the last one that we played. Um, again, more really good levels. You can go to the Waypoint thread in the link below to find these levels and all of the other ones in this series and like 100 posts more that I've not got to yet. Uh, level codes for all the ones I played in this should all be below as well. If you have a level you want me to play, post it in the comments below or, you know, Posting it in the Waypoint form thread is probably actually the easiest way to get me to play it. Also, like, subscribe, watch all the other videos, that stuff as well. See you next time.